Welcome to a short video where we're taking a break on building our racing game, the version 2. And what we'll be taking a look at this video is the wheel camber. So the thing about the camber is that Unity uses these wheel colliders that we have in here. And uh, normally how you would add some camber to your wheels is just tilting them. And as we can see, it doesn't work. So you can try basically anything and... Uh, you can see that the wheels will not turn. You can turn all four wheels, but you can't turn each and individual ones. You can take the side ones and you can try to turn them, but that will not work. So I've tried basically everything and uh, nothing worked except for this one, obviously. So um, the way I achieved this, as we can see, we have camber in here and I'll show you the camber in action right now. The wheels right now are perfectly, perfectly straight, like dead straight and I've added these simple lines in here that will tilt the wheels as we can see in here and I'll show you the code behind this so you might be wondering if this actually works in game and we are going to take a look at that right now I'm just gonna focus into the car and if we try and drive we're gonna see that everything works perfectly perfectly fine As we can see in here so we can drive the car we can do whatever we want to do in our game so everything works perfectly fine so how would we achieve this uh, this result so here is my code and um, these are the lines that I've added so these are just two lines and um, normally what you would do to get the rotations working for your wheels is by doing wheel collider or actually the array of wheel colliders dot transform dot rotation is equal to wheel rotation that's it that's how simple it would be but this does not work obviously so the way that you can achieve this is by using children objects so i've discussed these in a previous video if you've been around in my channel but the way it works is that you can use the parent object to just rotate the wheel so when you're turning you can rotate the wheel and you can use this the children object to rotate into the other direction but as we can see it works not brilliantly the reason for that is because we're using this global rotation so we can toggle it to local and now the wheel turns perfectly perfectly fine we can do that for all four wheels so that's how simple it is you just use a parent object and you use a child object. So you use the child object in here to drive the rotations. So these rotations actually. So the forward and the backwards rotation. So we use those in all four wheels to drive obviously the wheels. And you use the local rotation of the parent object to steer the car. So this one right here. So you can copy these two lines in here and it will work perfectly fine. Now you might be wondering why I don't have these tools. Well, that's because I built a custom editor window which has absolutely nothing special. I've provided that in a previous video, but if you don't wanna go and download it and uh, try it for yourself, what you can do is what I just said, create children objects and parent objects. So you can then tilt at any angle, maybe this crazy angle, you can tilt the other one or maybe you want positive camber or negative. I don't know how exactly it works, but you can do that and it will work perfectly fine as we can see in here. So the wheels will rotate into that direction and it is obviously going to steer. Okay, so that's a very, very short tutorial on the camber. Maybe you want to add that to your game. It actually looks a little bit better with camber in some cars, obviously. And uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episodes.